So guys, today we have a 2000 Chevy Silverado uh, 1500. We have an engine light on, and the code is uh, P0160 uh, O2 sensor, bank two, sensor two. So I gotta show you today how to change that. So the location of the, the O2 sensor is located in passenger side behind the, the caliber converter and easy to change it and we did check the, the fuse in the car and you can see here this one here this for the ultra sensor this one too for the ultra sensor so it's this one here this one here and this one here so we'll check them is good so I mean the ultra sensor is bad sometimes this is kind of broke down you can give you the same problem. So the first thing you do, you check this one first, and I'm go check that. And the tools we're gonna need today, we we'll have to have the tools for the open the O2 sensors. This is the tools for, and the ratchets. This only tools we need today. So for install the new one, it was really hard to install it because I have a spacer and I have no room. So what you have to do, you have to get a bar like this one here and you do it like that, like that and you lift the exhaust, you have to lift the exhaust up just to the, the O2 sensor to, to reach in his place. So a lot of people are going to ask why I did the spacer and O2 sensor. The spacer and O2 sensor, if you have an issue with your the pollution one, your or the the converter, kind of so that one, he, the customer being changed, but after market one, he keep have the 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 lights they coming in. This is why I put a spacer it doesn't read anymore, so we fixed the problem. So now we gotta change the sensor back. We didn't change the sensor last time, so we gotta change it now. That will like that will result to all the problem. And uh, sorry, I can't make my video like that because I use it on my phone. So stay with me, I'll show you how we gotta put it back. Thank you. We got the, the new one. So this is the old one. Uh, we gotta use the Bosch. This was required for this car. There we go. Very new. And the part number for this one. This is the part number. This is the part number. You can use it for. This is the new one. Big difference. Like that one. This is uh, 20 years old. This is a new one. Come with degrees and everything. So here you go guys, so I installed it, so it's good now. Uh, this is the old one I take it off. It's still brand new, but uh, I think uh, it was not the Bosch, I think it's something else, something cheap. So now we put Bosch, the good quality. Or you can use the NGK. NJK is good quality too. So you don't need the fantasy tools or something. You can use just a cheap one, 25 bucks. Has the reset lights like that. And what the code we was. So the code says P0160. So I'll go come in here and put it twice. We'll reset the code. Here we go. Get reset. Okay. We start the, the car. Good. Okay, perfect.
So we go there. So I just done with the car. We changed the oxygen sensor. So this one for bank two sensor two. So we resolved the problem. And uh, a lot of this one, this car too, I reach uh, before she has a problem with the, the Kelvin Cavura. She has a bad problem with that. She changed the customer, be charged for a new one. You keep have the same problem. So what I did for them, I got the tools like I got this one here. I put on the oxygen sensor last time for him behind the Kelvin Cavura. And you fix the problem, no engine light coming back again. So easy way to fix. They have to find the solutions. Hi right, guys, if you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to subscribe on my channel to see more videos and uh, like, uh, like and share for the video, please. Thank you for watching and we'll see you for our next video. Thank you.